Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I can create this shader in Blender. So let's get started. With this shader you can use any object that you want. I'm going to use Suzanne, Control 3 and go to shading. Oh and shade smooth of course. Go to rendered view and under the world properties I'm going to set it to sky texture and set arrow dust and ozone to free and make sure that you are using cycles under render properties film check transparent and now click on new move the principal bsdf down here add a mix shader and now add a glass shader and connect it to the bottom. I'm going to choose an orange color for this. Now add a color ramp and connect the color to the factor. Drag the black in like this and the white like this. And as you can see now some parts are glass and some are not. Now add a checker texture and connect the color to the factor. Add a noise texture and connect the color to the vector. By the way, here set the scale to 6.1 and here to 3.6. Set the detail to 15 and now let's add a layer weight. Connect the, the fanel to the color 2 and facing to color 1. Now if we rotate the view you can see it always faces the view or I don't know how to say it but <laughs> you can see it. Set the blend to 0.9 and now we have this effect. Go down to the principal BSDF and add a color ramp. Connect the color to the color. Make the black something light gold like this for example. And the white a darker gold like this. And now let's add a Musgrave texture. Connect the height to the factor. Set the scale to 400. The detail to 16. And the dimension to 0. Now with it selected, press Ctrl T. If you have the Node Wrangler add-on installed, it comes with Blender by default. Connect the object to the vector. And now add a noise texture. Connect the vector to the vector and set the scale to 12. The detail to 16 again and the roughness to 0.45. Connect the factor to the normal and add a bump mode. Set the strength to 0.008. And now let's go back to loud mode. Going to front view and press 8 on the numpad to move like this. Now add a camera, Control Alt 0, and also let's hit delete, Control Alt 0. And with the camera selected, let's press 3 set set to move it like this. I'm also going to move it down a little and add an empty plane axis. Now select the camera and shift select the empty. Control P to parent to object. Now if we rotate the empty the camera will rotate along with it. Let's make the end frame 100. Now on frame 1 press I rotation. Go to frame 100 and rotate it on the set by 45. And keyframe it again. 
and now if we press play we have this if you don't want it to slow up and slow down you can go here and press T and set it to linear but I'm going to leave it at that now let's save and find the folder where you want to, where you want the file to be saved I'm going to call it tutorial and now let's go to the render properties I'm going to use cycles with the noise enabled and if you have an NVIDIA GPU you can use both I'm going to use optics if you don't have an NVIDIA GPU you can only use open image denoise now go to compositing and I have this set up here you need to enable use nodes and then add a denoise node if you don't see these outputs here you need to enable denoising data now let's save again and go to the render pro output properties sorry and select a folder where you want it to be saved to I have already created one I'm going to call it rendered images if you put an underscore after the name blender is going to automatically assign number three frames so let's accept now go to render and render animation once it's done rendering I'm going to show you how you can compile the images to a video once it's done rendering let's close this window and go to the plus sign and go to video editing have over the file location and press ctrl c make sure you're on frame 1 and change the file format to ffmpeg video and set the encoding to mpeg4 also set the output quality to high quality and now press shift a image sequence and place in the location minus the file name and press a enter and now we have this in the in the sequencer so now let's save again go to render and render animation once it's done rendering you can find the animation in the same folder where you have the images so that's it with the tutorial i hope you liked it Please let me know what I should do next and I'll see you next time.